side. I gotta cut up more clay today. And I gotta wait for it to warm up a little bit in the studio. Again, I haven't got into the routine of get, getting down here early and starting up the uh, heater. So it gets a little warmer in here so the clay isn't quite as difficult to work with. I just received these uh, to help uh, me move my camera around from one uh, swing arm to another and it's a frame that uh, or cage that fits the hero uh, black 12 11 10 and 9 cameras and uh, it comes with a mic adapter that has the uh, mount for the uh, camera cage and trying to mount it onto the cage is a task in itself and that mounts onto the bottom of the uh, cage and it has an open area here for plugging it into the camera and all that stuff it's really handy to have a cage that you can just drop your camera into without having to drop down the uh, mounts and uh, swing arm that's going to help me to zero in on the uh, clay that I'm working on. So this is how it works. Let's see. Uh, this is the front of it. And you just put it in there. Get it worked out here in a second. This stage you have to do this every time you want to change the amount for your camera to get a different angle. And uh, it just saves time. Now I've got a, another mount that I can put the camera into and uh, I got four of these and uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount those right now. I'm not going to get much sculpting done today and tomorrow I'm going to be taking off because it's my birthday. I turn 79 tomorrow and the day after tomorrow I start living my 80th year. <laughs> I'm still living my 79th year right now and I'll officially be 79 tomorrow. But then I start living my 80th year, which is unbelievable to me. I can't even comprehend it, that I've made it this far in life without having major problems health-wise or aches and pains or things like that. I've been pretty, pretty well blessed. Anyway. The... Uh, cage that comes from a small rig it comes with a uh, extra little door flap that goes on the side of the camera with the opening here so you can plug your your uh, sound thing into I'm not sure what they call it I'm not one for technical terms. Anyway, this is the uh, mount and it comes pretty well wrapped in bubble wrap. These are great frames for cages. Well designed and uh, Andy is all get out so all right I'm going to continue doing this I got the clay 
cut up and as soon as I get a couple more of these cages uh, worked out here I'll get busy doing a little bit of sculpting today. I'm gonna get me a cake and some ice cream tomorrow and treat myself to a birthday party. Tell you right now, painting the uh, armature uh, makes it easier to put clay on it. This uh, thorax area of the horse, without the paint, makes it, it, it it's a little slick for putting clay on, and your clay has to be really soft um, ahead of you know to uh, put it on that surface, but with the paint on there, it gives it some tooth to hold the clay. And uh, it's really be a, a great idea to uh, just paint your armature. Um, and if you want to get the uh, paint to match your, your clay, it's easy to do. You just take your uh, piece of clay to your local paint shop and have them match the color whichever kind of clay you're using it just makes it easier just filling in behind the bone to solidify the position of this uh, front leg It's just a matter of blocking in the muscles and coming back and fine-tuning them. All right, see you next time. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.